There's babies in my room. In our oh, what? room. Okay. <laughs> no, not anymore. That's my intro. If you hear screaming babies, it's because there are screaming babies. There's also another one over here. But as promised, I will be reviewing some makeup products for you guys. The one that I've showed before. <laughs> They're just below me looking out the window. Okay, so I've already moisturized my face. If you guys are wondering what moisturizer I use, I have brought in from the Philippines my ever so favorite oh. Unicorn Daydream Skin Hydrating oh. Serum from Skin Potions. Oh. This stuff is the bomb. And I chose to bring this moisturizer with me because it just moisturizes so good. And that's what I need here in the States because since it's cold, it'll dry your face and skin out a lot. So that's the moisturizer I have on my face. Plus it gives you an extra glow as you can see. Okay, so the first product review here is the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. And I've said this once, I'm gonna say it again. I'm not sure about the shade. This is the f no fighting. This is, <laughs> this is the first time I'm gonna try it and I just winged the shade. So let's just pray to the heavens that this is my shade. <sighs> Moment of truth. Ooh, the applicator is like nice. Okay, okay, this is my shade. This Lucy, is my not shade. Uh huh. Yes, it is my shade. Thank you, Lord. Oh. I'm acidic, so it's it might oxidize. I'm not sure yet. I'm gonna let you guys know if it does. Yeah. Well, it's creamy. And it yeah. blends well. But it doesn't blend as fast as I'm used to with my Maybelline Fit Me one. Maybe because my hands are cold, so it's not really warming anything up. But overall, I like it. The shade match is pretty good i mean i think if i if i got um something lighter it would be too light on my skin so the shade match i like i am happy i am lucky and i am blessed that this is my shade <laughs> and i don't have to return it hello, coverage baba. wise hello baba G. coverage wise it's good oh, it's probably I'd say it's medium to full. It definitely covers my redness over here and my under eye circles here. It's not dark at all and I feel like I don't have to set it with a powder, which is good. So I'm gonna test it out some more and I'll tell you guys what I think about it. But overall, it's a good purchase. I like it. Glossier, boy brow, and medium. Okay, first time trying this as well and I'm not gonna put powder underneath it anymore because this does have color. Okay. I'm being so quiet right now because I'm just concentrating. Oh, 
I like it. I like it. I mean, it does feel weird because I don't usually use um, this type of product for my brows. It feels a little cold, <laughs> which feels unusual for me, but I think I like it. I mean, it's not usually the kind of brows I go for because if I use a powder, it's a lot. It gives you a, a fuller effect, but then this is very natural on me, which I like. And I like it. I'm not complaining. I like it. Plus, the fact that I didn't have to re dip it like twice, I only did it once and it fit both of my brows because it does, it does, it's a little tiny. I mean, that's everything you get, but I feel like it's gonna be enough since you don't have to do it. You don't have to dip two times for both brows, just once and you're good. So I feel like this is going to last me a long time, so it's good. Next thing that we're going to try is this Glossier Color Bomb Cloud Paint in the shade Dusk. It's peachy, I'm not sure how it's going to look on my skin tone. But in their um, website, they have like three pictures of three different women with three different skin tones. And I think I picked the girl with my skin tone and it looked a lot, a lot like my skin tone and it looked good. And I'm not sure how I'm going to apply this, but let's just like... No, Caleb, what are you doing? I mean, I don't know how much I should put. It does give you color, but on my skin, it probably doesn't look much. But I mean, it's natural, so I'm going for the natural look today, so it definitely gives me that. Here's the difference. There is definitely a difference, but just a slight one. Now I am going to review the ColourPop Super Shock Cheek in Wisp. And let me just put a bit of hula on my nose. Give me a second. Okay. Let me just put a bit of hula. I have no brush with me right now, so. Let me go in with ColourPop Hi. Wisp. Hi. ColourPop Wisp. Okay. With just a little dab, I got this much. You know mm. what you're doing? I'm putting makeup on. This is, this is definitely not for a natural glow. But I'm not complaining, I mean it's good. Can I see any of it too? Yeah, of course. Come here. <laughs> That's it. That's Wisp for you guys. I mean, it's not that natural, but I mean, I'm not complaining about it. Okay, I'll carry you. Come here. There you are. And my video now. What would you say to my viewers? Thank you. Thank you? Why? Say thank you for watching my Ninang. I love you. That's it for my makeup review, which took 10 minutes long, so this might be the whole video already. Just kidding. Hi. Hi. Bye bye. Bye bye.
bye bye. Cover the camera here. Cover. Cover. No. This one cover. Bye. <laughs> Click this. Bye.